So we have a simple program here called add three. And this program is intended just simply to add those three numbers together and print out the sum. And if I run this, I'll compile it and then run it. And you'll see that it does print out the 10 plus the two plus the one that's 13. Now I've shown in two, these two different lines that there's a printf statement that has just a series of just um, space holders. They're just periods. Um, and there's one, two, what is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It should be ten. And so when I comment out line 11, notice that my sum that's 13, um, where it's printing, I'm expecting that, in fact, to change. So let's go ahead and compile it and run it. And um, so we've gotten rid of line 11. That's changed. Let's get rid of the 5 to try to get an understanding of what's, what that's doing. And so sum is 13. You can see that the 13 has shifted. So the way uh, printf works, it says I will print out everything that's in the first string. So it will simply print out the S. And then it will print out um, the U, the M, the space, the I, the S, the space. And when it sees a percent sign in certain characters, what we call conversion specifiers, it will jump outside of these green quotation marks and look at the address that's held by the variable, in this case, the variable is sum, it will look at that address and all it sees is just it's an arrangement of, of bits, essentially. Now, how it prints it out really depends on the specifier. If we tell it that it's a 32-bit integer by using percent %d um, as our conversion specifier, then it will print it out as an integer. Um, let me make this number a little bit larger. Instead of 10, I'll change my C to 100 so you can see a difference. So right now, it should print out 103. Compile it, run it, and you'll see that it's 103. But if I tell it, print out the S, U, M, uh, space, I, S, and then jump out and pr uh, uh, print out sum. But if I tell it, it's actually a character. Since characters are stored as integers, it's going to try to print this out as, well, the character, the ASCII value um, of 103 is actually the letter G. And if I increase this by one, instead of uh, 103, well, now we're looking at 104, compile it and run it, it should be H. So it will interpret that stream of bits um, based on the conversion specifier. So it works well with characters and integers switching back and forth, but it works less well if you have a floating point number because those are packaged in very specific ways. You can't just tell it to print it out as a floating point number um, because the variable type was specified as an integer. So in this case, we get a warning, but it will still run, right? And it'll give us some bogus information. So the sum is certainly not zero, but that's because it doesn't know how to decode what is stored as an integer. It doesn't know how to decode that and interpret it as a floating point number. It wasn't encoded as a floating point number. So you have to be careful with that just because you tell it it's a percent %f that needs to be printed out or a double. The type has to match the conversion specifier and we get a warning, but it still will go forward. So that part, that's important. Make sure your conversion type and your variable type match. Now the second thing is, um, let's turn this back into an integer, let's compile it, get rid of that error, let's run it, we get our 104. But if for some reason we need to have um, this 104 maybe fitting a particular space, right? So if I just do nothing and look at this, notice that my 1 is lined up right after the space. So my 1 and my 104 is lined up right after my space. But if I want to shift this maybe two spaces 
to the right for alignment purposes. When I do this, you should see, um, let's make sure this is working, compile, run. It says, well, it, it doesn't shift it, but it, try, it what you're asking it to do is to use a certain number of character spaces for your output. So since it's three, we've asked it to use two. So that's, but here's, if I tell it to use four, it's going to use four character spaces and then shift it just one to the right. If I tell it to use five character spaces, it will go ahead and print it out and shift it two to the right. And if I tell it to use all 10, it will compile it and then shift it all the way to the end. So it right justifies using the number of spaces. So it will use 10 spaces and it will right justify based on the number that's uh, placed here. So that integer in front of the D and after the percent sign indicates how many spaces you'd like to use. And that's helpful if you have multiple numbers and you want them all right justified and aligned in a certain way.